Today I want to talk about a question that comes up a lot, but it's a question that probably should come up more often. I work at Property Resources in Raleigh. We sell a lot of buildings. We work with buyers. We work a lot with sellers. The topic of cap rate comes up all the time, and sometimes our audience gets it, and sometimes I can tell they really don't, and sometimes it's not fun to ask really basic questions, even though that's probably the most important question you could ask. So we're going to go over what is a cap rate. Let's start off with the fact that it's actually an abbreviation. It means capitalization rate. That will only confuse you further, so we're going to quit talking about that. Cap rate means rate of return. It's the easiest way to think about this, and if you start thinking this way, you're never going to get confused. So today we're going to talk about cap rate from the perspective of the buyer. The seller has a building that produces $100,000 in net income. That's really not going to change at all. That's kind of a given. So over here, we have the seller. They have a building with $100,000 in income. If you'd be willing to accept a 7% rate of return, that's a 7 cap. The seller has a building with $100,000 in revenue. If you'll accept a 7% rate of return, then you would give that person $1,428,000 for that building. Conversely, if you're looking for a higher return, the mathematical expression of that is that the seller still has $100,000 in net revenue, but at an 8 cap, meaning you get an 8% rate of return, the seller is only going to get $1,250,000. The seller's looking for a low cap rate, the buyer's looking for a high cap rate. If you still have questions, you should call or send me an email. But this is very fundamental, and this is where your knowledge in commercial real estate should start. Thank you.